Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, brought a thumb to you sincere believers, to the hopeful elect, which only the elect are going to come in the spirit of sincerity and in truth. Um, and real quick, um, I, I don't even know how long this is going to be because it's pretty, the spirit pretty much told me when I woke up this morning to, um, get into this because you know I, I have to talk about how lately man the spirit has been getting on me um when i wake up usually i wake up the spirit will hit me with a topic and this morning it, it told me to speak on this here in ecclesiasticus the second chapter i don't know if i'm going to read the whole chapter or not i was kind of skimming through it and a bunch of pre uh, precepts came to my mind man so you know you know i'm gonna just let the spirit flow um but not only that i was watching the video um, or I was listening to the video I was, as I was working out by the Elder Apostle Tahar. Um, the, the title of the video, it says, Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. All right. And again, here it is. We're coming into the straight gate, man. You know, um, and like I said, I just felt the need to exhort uh, whoever this, you know, is intended for. All right. Because, you know, and like I said, it's, it's all through the spirit. All things are done through the spirit. All right. But um, because, you know, we need to be reminded of these things, especially now. And like I said, the times that we're coming into, um, you know, pretty much the elder apostle Tahar going back to his video you know, on how that amen pretty much this because um, this is the time to be on fire for you. How about you? Shai, man, this this isn't the time to, you know, a uh, bitch up. You know, um, this ain't the time to, you know, uh, uh, or put it like this. This is the time to put off that weak nature, you know. Um, this is the, the the time to to man up, gird up thy loins, and you know get ready for the ride that we're all gonna have to 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 indulge in, whether we want to or not, whether we like it or not. <sighs> all right. So just some exhortation for who again, you know, whoever this um, is pertaining to. I'm gonna read this here in Hebrews the third chapter. In verse, I'll start at verse 12. It says, Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. Because again, this is not the time to be questioning, especially now, man, where you got groups teaching, or oh, they're basically putting a vibration out there that, um, or uh, 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 basically, they're, they're pushing a vibration on their congregation uh, of basically questioning certain books, you know, and questioning certain writings of the apostle paul you know uh saying that the 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 um the the word of god or hebrews is not the word of god but the word of god is contained in, in, in the book of hebrews so, you know nonsense like that you know um so again this is not the time to be moving forward into jacob's trouble because here it is out there in new york um and this is because, you know, pretty much New York, man, it's, that's that's basically a, a, a testing ground. All right. And it's not a matter of if, but it's a matter of when, because these things are prophesied in the Bible. All right. Um, when it does take place. All right. Um, it's going to spread forth throughout. Uh, uh, um, the It's basically going to, going to spread forth in all promises of Babylon the Great. And what I mean is going into this. What is the A14 bill? This A14 or, or, or right, uh, let me see if I can look it up real quick. <sighs> well, basically, they're talking about detaining people, all right, who they pose to be a threat to society, basically, right? Um, I believe going into this bill, like you know, you can basically you can catch a common cold, and it, it's up to the, the to the dis, uh, the governor's discretion if they want to basically lock you up and quarantine you. You know, that's basically what this bill is going into, which, like I said, hey, the the, the men of the Lord, they've been uh, speaking on these things for many years, and a hey, prophecy is speaking. Um, see if I can look this up real quick. So, yeah, the New York State Assembly Bill A416. All right. And you can look into it if you want. Right. But, yeah, you know, stuff like that. Right. Um, and they were, I think they were talking about how and um, I believe next week they're going to come in and, and, you know, discuss these things. Right. Um, and, you know, uh, bring these bills into 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 
to pass or whatnot, you know, make it law and whatnot. So the times are, is, is coming where, hey, man, you know, um, our faith, like I said, the, the, the straight gate, man, you know, we're coming into that straight gate. So, like I said, with that being said, this is not the time to be moving forward as we're coming coming into this straight gate. All right. This time of difficulty. All right. <laughs> Questioning, you know, pretty much everything that we've been taught, everything that we've learned. All right. Our faith. All right. This isn't the time to be questioning any of these things, you know. So that's why I'm going to read this again in Hebrews 3 and 12. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief and departing from the living power. All right. Because, hey, you know, you got a lot of Israelites in the truth. But, hey, when the Lord turns that heat up and, you know, um, that sifting process takes place because, hey, the Lord is separating the real from the fake. He's separating the, 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 the tares from the wheat. All right. I mean, hey, man, you know, a lot of Israelites come into this thing not knowing and not under, not understanding that it's only going to get harder, man. It's, it's, it's only going to get worse. You see, here it is. You got, you got Israelites already. I'm talking about Israelites in the truth already taking that 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 Vanessa juice, man, you know, folding already, you know, conforming and bowing to the to, to the image of the beast already. And, you know, you know, uh, Esau, he ain't even put the pressure on yet, you know. So, hey, um, like I said, man, this, this, this ain't the time to be, you know, questioning, you know, ha having doubts. All right. Because, again, and that's why I'm going to go into Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, the second chapter. All right. Because, again, when you come into this truth, you come to find out that it's not supposed to be easy, man. But it's supposed to, you know, it's, it's, it's only going to get harder from here, you know. But if you're not built up and rooted in your Habashi Shad, then you ain't, you're not going to make it. So this is why, again, we have to be comforted. You know, we have to be exhortated. We have to be reminded on a daily basis. All right. Because I said this before and um, about how, hey, man, you got a lot of uh, a lot of people. They talk shit about primarily the men of Great Millstone because, you know, basically brothers, they sound like they're, 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 they're basically repeating themselves. You know, you know, brothers, um, um, you know, uh, are constantly talking about the same thing, which I mean. When you look at the prophets of old, man, they pretty much they've been they're, they're very repetitive. The, 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 the Lord is very repetitive. All right. And that's not a quint. You know, that's 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 not a mistake, you know, because hey, when the time comes and how about Shemel Shai sends judgment? All right. None, none, none of us can say we weren't told. All right. You know, I kind of touched on this in the um, street teaching about how hey, the Lord has given us. We've been here plenty of times, man. We have a life cycle after life cycle. To get it to, 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 you know, hear this word because the prophets were always here all the way in, in the time of Genesis. So if you didn't hear it in this lifetime, you heard it before, man. So there's no excuses. All right. But um, I'm going to read this in verse 13. It says, but exhort one another daily while it is called today. Yeah, because, hey, we're in the we're as of right now, man, we're in the, the, the as it says in the book, of, like uh, the, the, the book of Genesis. Right. The being that we're in the cool of the day. Right. Where everything is cool. You know, everything is, 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 is good and handy and dandy. You're still able to go out freely out and about. Right. But, hey, the, when the time of the night comes and and the men of the Lord, they're not out there in the highways and byways. And, you know, hey, pretty much it's just, it's, it's just going to be you, you and your how about you shy from there. All right. And again, if you're not built up in, in Yahweh Bashim al Shah, then, you know, he, you're going to be out there to fend for yourself. All right. So it says, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. All right. So the, just the point I wanted to make was that a exhortation uh, daily, you know, comforting one another daily. All right. Because, hey, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. All right. What we have. Um, <laughs> built ourselves upon which should be the rock um you know uh, uh um uh uh Yahweh Shai, all right you know he's our rock our salvation our shield our defense our help he's our everything all right um and again if you haven't built yourself upon this foundation then you're not gonna make it all right because hey man you know we're in the we're in the testing grounds right now man all right we you know the Lord's putting us through different trials and tribulations all right, because, hey, you know, the Lord, he's, he's preparing us for this time to come. So, again, it's not supposed to be easy, man. All right. But think it not, 
you know, that it's just the Lord, you know, being a bully. No, man, the Lord, he, he's uh, making a man out of us, man, so that we, Lord's will, will be able to stand boldly in that day. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to get into this in Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter two, starting at verse one. It says, my son, and that's the thing. All right. As the scripture say, Israel is the firstborn of the Lord. All right. Um, and, and as I said, because the Lord, being that he's chastening us, he's dealing with, w dealing with us as sons. All right. Um, it says, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So, you know, um, matter of fact, like I said, man, um, I was just skimming through the chapter and a bunch of precepts came to mind. So whatever the spirit wants to bring out. Um, so let me read that again. Sirach. Two and one, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So, a hey, prepare to suffer. That's what you know. That's what it's about when you when you come into this truth, man. You know, um, because again, it's not supposed to be easy. That's you know something that this world teaches, especially Christianity with the whole prosperity doctrine. And you know, if you come to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, then you know pretty much everything's going to be all good. No, man. It, you know, because hey, you come into this truth. Um, like the saying goes, man. Um, Expect the worst, uh, uh, hope for the best, uh, uh, how does it go, man? Um, we hope for the best, man, but, you know, we prepare for the worst because, again, the ties that we're coming into, part of that, part of this understanding is knowing that, hey, for a lot of us, we're going to lose everything. And even for, for, for some of the elect, they, they're going to lose their life, you know? So we have to be um, moving forward. We You know, we have to be prepared for that, losing loved ones, children, you know, everything you know so again man the point being that hey prepare your prepare to suffer it's not going to get any easier out here all right i'm going to um get this all right because the scriptures talk about bearing your cross man Look for this real quick. Mm, this one caught my eye right here, man. I'm going to read this. Matter of fact, hold up. So, yeah, I'm going to read this real quick. Luke 14 and 27, it says, And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So, hey, hey, man, if you don't catch hell, then, hey, you're not a true disciple of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You know, you got Israelites, you know, uh, um, flaunting the fact that they have multiple wives and, you know, they, they're, they're, you know, they're, you know, brothers got multiple wives and, and you know, basically they they living good. Well, hey, pretty much you're not a man of the Lord. All right. You know, because again, when you when you come to serve Yahweh Bashim al Shai, hey, you gotta take up this cross, man. You gotta bear this burden, so to say, man. You know, um, because hey, no one has suffered more than our Lord Yahweh Shai. So what makes us any different? We we gotta take up this cross, you know, and, and you know, follow after the footsteps of the Captain of our salvation. All right, you know. So again, it says, and whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So hey, you know. Again, prepare to suffer, man. You know, get ready to suffer. Get ready to catch hell. Because, again, the Lord is dealing with us as sons. All right. So going back to Sirach chapter 2 and verse 2, it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Constantly endure. All right. Because, hey, man, it seems like a never-ending process, man, with, with the, the, the hells and the afflictions that we go through. You know, um, it's like a never-ending thing. But, you know, the Wadi Yahweh Bashim El Shai, because there is... A line of uh, there is a thing of balance, you know. It's not like we're just catching hell twenty four seven, but you know, um, hey, even you know, if things are, are are going good, you know, you, you know, uh, um, you say you know, we're able to pay our bills on time and, and stuff like that. But even with that being said, like you know, you can be catching hell spiritually, man, emotionally, mentally, 
You know, because they being in the trying to do the right thing in a world that's just filled with wickedness, it can it's it's vexing on your spirit. You know, is is it, it it weighs you down, man. You know, because it's it's like how much longer, oh Lord? You know, um, because there's a there's a, there's a scripture that talks about how um um it was one of the prophets, like I, I believe it was like a uh, Haggai or Habakkuk, but it was one of those prophets. They were talking about how. Basically, man, because, hey, we've been brought down to so low as a people, man. We, we we catch hope so much hell, man. It's like, damn, Lord, like, we we get it, man. We we know we we messed up, Lord, you know, because when, when you look at the state of our condition, man, it's, it's just like, damn, man, you know, like, how, how much how much more is, you know, how, how much more is the Lord going to put us through this? How much more is the Lord going to tolerate this? Uh, tolerate this, man. It's, you know, it's like, damn, man, we get it, Lord. We, we messed up, you know, and that's how it is, man. It's vexing, you know, it's tiring, you know. But, hey, this is a, a, a part of bearing our cross, man, you know, constantly enduring, right? It says, and make not haste in time of trouble because, hey, Jake always, for the most part, a lot of Jake, they, they look for an easy way out, man, you know. Um, so, you know, when that time comes that, hey, your life is on the line, you know, you're, 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 you know, they're threatening your family and, you know, because, um, um, hey, like I said, it's, it's going to come down to that, man, you know, where your livelihood is on the line and, being that Jake is so comfortable here, you know, Jake, Jake is comfortable. But you see, when things get uncomfortable, Jake is going to be looking to, for, for they're going to be running to anything to, you know, seek that, that, that to get that comfort back. And ultimately in the form of, you know, taking that karagma. Because you see now, man, with Jake, a lot of Jake, they're, 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 they're taking that, 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 that uh, Vanessa, you know, so that they can, quote unquote, get back to normal, right, you know. Um, that's, that's, you know, Hey, as brothers always say, get comfortable with getting uncomfortable, man. Cause Hey, this is, this is going to be one hell of a ride that we're, we're all going to have to partake in. When it comes to this hour of temptation, it tells you this is going to be something that's going to be for the world. All right. So we're all going to have to, and, um, we're all going to have to, to, endure this, this, this trying time, man. And you see, it's, it's exactly that, you know, it's, it's the, the, for the trying of our faith, because we have to be proven before we make it into the kingdom. All right. You know, it has to be shown, made known who the men of the Lord are, you know, so we have to be proven. But like I said, hey, the Lord, he's been building us up, the hopefully elect. He's been bu building us up. And in that day, the men of the Lord are going to stand out. All right. You know, because, hey, when things get bad, hey, the, the, the elect, they're not going to be running into those, 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 you know, camps. All right. They're not going to be taking that, the, the, taking the karagma. You know, um, and hey, man, it's going to suck, man. It's going to suck ass. But hey, you know, um, the scriptures talk about how the sufferings that we suffer now, man, it's not going to it's not going to compare to what the, the, the glory that we're going to receive when we when it's all said and done. And we're finally in the kingdom, you know, because, um, you know, when you're suffering, man, um, when you're suffering, uh, like I said, it, it feels like it's forever. You know, when you're catching hell, it, it just seems like it's forever, man. You know, it, it seems like it's a long, drawn out process, but. When it's when it's all said and done, and you look back, certain afflictions that we go through, we look back, we're like, man, I, I man, I really, you know, it's like, damn, man, you know, I can't believe I, I bitched and complained about that, you know. That's how it's gonna be in the kingdom, you know. But like I said, we're catching hell now, and it sucks, but in the kingdom, man, we're gonna be looking looking back, like, man, all we had to do was endure that little time of affliction, and we get all this, man. Bro, I can tell you how about Shemel Shai, you know, because we're suffering, but we're suffering for for a little season, man. It's, this ain't nothing, even though it seems like much, but it's, it's, this ain't really nothing, you know. And uh, um, just remember, because, hey, the Lord said he's not going to put us through anything that we can't bear. So whatever it is that we do, whatever befalls us, whatever our lot is, just know that the Lord knows what he knows our limits. And again, he's not going to put us through what we can't what he's not going to put us through what wasn't destined for us to make it to make it through, if, if, if that makes sense. All right. If we go, if we're going through it, and if we're of the elect, we're gonna make it through it. All right. <laughs> matter of fact, the scriptures say, "Hey, the elect, they already had the victory." But like I keep saying, it's just a matter of it. These things playing out. It has to be played out. All right, because hey, these things are gonna be written and talked about forever in the kingdom. All right. You know, the scriptures talk about the, a book of remembrance. You know, which hey, you know, a lot of us we wanna you know be one of those that. We're talked about forever, man, in, in, in the kingdom, you know, 
talking to our, our hundredth generations, you know, our thousand generations, you know, the thousand generations of our offsprings, offsprings, man, you know, a great, 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 great grandsons and, and, and beyond, man. We want to be, you know, we want to be uh, one of those people that is talked about forever, man. Telling these stories to our offspring, man. You know, we want to be one of those, man. So this is why, hey, man, coming into this time that, hey, we just got to suck this shit up, man. And it's easier said than done. You know, and the scriptures say, he that draweth unto the end, the same shall be saved, man. So, hey, you know, nevertheless, this is why we need Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. You know, the spirit is going to have to be on us because, hey, we're coming into some very heavy times, very spiritual times, man. Um, But verse 3 says, cleave unto him and depart not away. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end, because hey, the scriptures say that better is the ending, the ending of a thing um, rather than the beginning. Because what's our end? Like at Job, Job was an example. You know, Job received double. He lost everything in the beginning, but he received double. All right, in his end, you know. Um, so hey, our end is going to be like I said, you know, far beyond what we can what we can even comprehend, man. Like I said, we're going to be looking back in the kingdom, like hey. We get all this, and all we had to do, do was endure that little that little season of uh, of you know affliction, man. You know. Um, matter of fact, let me see if I can find this real quick. All right, because hey, this is the time to, to to as I said here, man. We gotta cleave, man. When you when you cleave onto something, man, you you hold on to that thing for dear life. You know. Let's see if I can find this example real quick. It's going into one of uh. It's going into one of the King David's mighty men. All right. Let's see if I can pull this up real quick. If I can look for it. Lord's will. You just have to bear with me real quick. King David and one of his mighty men. me real quick matter of fact because I was in a uh, chronicles like second Samuel Samuel Second Samuel twenty three Second Samuel twenty three Yep, this is it. Okay. So, 2 Samuel 23, 2 Samuel 23, and I'll start at verse, excuse me, 2 Samuel chapter 23, starting at verse 8. It says, These be the names of the mighty men whom David had, the Tachmonite that sat in the seat chief among the captains. The same was Adino, the Ezanite. 
he lifted up his spear against 800 men, against 800 who he slew at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, one of the three mighty men with David, when they defiled, when they defied the Philistines that were gathered together to battle and the men of Israel were gone away. Verse 10 is the point. It says, he arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary. His hand clave unto his sword and the Lord wrought a great victory that day. And the people returned after him only to spoil. So, because I was looking for the account, this, this same, pretty much this, this, uh, uh, this same mighty man of King David. All right. And another account, um, but basically showing that um, this mighty man, one of this, one of the, one of the, the uh, uh, these warriors of King David. All right, I'm gonna read it again. It says he arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary, and his hand clave unto the sword. All right, so basically his hand, hey man, because hey, you know he was getting busy to the point where his hand basically it was it was it was like it was stuck to the sword, right? And there was there was another account. Um, to where basically, man, his hand was so pride to that sword. It was so, uh, uh, um, pride to that sword that basically they had to, they had to, you know, basically, you know, pry his hands off the sword, you know, and that's how we have to be with this war, man. You know, going back to Ecclesiasticus two, Ecclesiasticus two and three it says cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. So, a. Hey, all right, being that this truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, this is our sword. We have to cleave. Uh, we have to cleave unto it, man. All right, nothing can separate us, as the scriptures say. Who shall separate us from the love? Right, if I let me get that real quick, because hey, man, one thing about it. Um, hey, man, the 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 the, the real followers, the real disciples of Yahweh Shimon Shai, they're gonna follow Yahweh Shai whithersoever he goeth. Right. So, you know, you know, no matter what you do, man, the elect, they're going to follow Yahweh by Shema Shai. All right. Romans 8 and 35. Who shall separate us from the love of, of Hamashiach? It says, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? And the question is, or the answer to that is, is none. None of these things. Nothing's going to separate the elect, all right, from Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, all right, because they cleave unto, they're, they're, they're going to cleave unto him, all right, you know, the scripture say, hey, my sheep hear my voice, you know, and hey, these are the same ones that follow Yahweh Shai in the very beginning. So nothing's going to separate the elect from Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. They're going to cleave unto, uh, unto the Lord, man. They're going to cleave unto his ways, all right, they're going to cleave unto this truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, nothing's going to separate the elect. All right, no matter how bad it gets, all right, and that's just the spirit that the Lord put on the elect from the very beginning. All right, they're, they're not going to conform to anything else outside of Yahweh Shai. All right, so, hey, man, we got, we, hey, you know, this is why brothers are so diligent, man. You know, videos are going up every single day, brothers out there highway, on the highways and byways, week in, week out, you know. Because, hey, man, when, when you come to a, 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 a and, uh, you know, the Apostle Gabar talks about this pretty often about how, hey, man, you know, this is it for a lot of us. You know, a lot of us, we inspired to be musicians, rappers, entertainers. And, you know, a lot of us inspired to be, you know, I know me personally, I wanted to, I wanted to be in, in, into sports, you know. You know, I wanted to be in the NBA and the NFL and, you know, all these other inspirations that we desired, right. But no, man, when you come into this truth, you know, it, you know, come to find out this is what we live for. I mean, this, this is what it's about. You know, there's nothing else, you know, there's, there's, there's nothing else to do. This is what it's all about, you know. So, hey, you know, um, hey, like the scriptures talk about how when Yahusha called the disciples, you know, some of them were fishermen. Some of some of the, the disciples, they were fishermen and hey, the Lord called them and they dropped everything to follow Yahusha. And that's how the elect are. All right. We leave all that behind to follow Yahusha, to do this work, partake in his ministry. All right, because like I said, this is just that's just the spirit that the Lord had on them, uh, that, uh, that that He has on the elect, that He put on them from the very beginning. All right. So it says, verse four. And you see, going back to verse three real quick. 
All right, it says, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. All right, because again, knowing that, hey, man, this word ain't got nothing to offer you anyways, man. You know, there's nothing in this place, man. What, what are you going to go back to? You know, but hey, we, we, we us striving for the prize, man, the, the reward, you know, hey, because uh, going back to what Yahweh Shai told the disciples, when the disciples asked, hey, man, we fought, we dropped everything to follow you. What are we going to get? Right. And what did Yahweh Shai say? Hey, man, you're going to get everything a hundredfold, man. So that's why it's important, man. Don't worry about the things pertaining to this life. You know, just 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 hey, you know, our daily bread, man, that's all we need, you know, just to get by from the, from day to day. All right. Just focus on your daily bread. Right. Take care of what you need to take care of. But hey, ultimately, our mind is focused on the kingdom, man. Because everything that we everything that we lose on this side, we're going to get it back. So don't worry about it. We're going to get it back. <sighs> and that's a part of the comfort. Because, again, a lot of us are going to lose family, lo loved ones. We're, we're going to lose everything. But part of the comfort is you're going to get it back. So verse 4 says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a low state. All right. So, like I said before, it's easier said than done, man. Because, hey, a lot of us, hey. We're coming into that straight gate. A lot of us, you know, it's going to get bad, man. You know, it's going to get real bad. But, hey, be patient. All right? Because, like I said in verse 2, where it said, it make not haste in time of trouble. Right? You know, because, hey, when, 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 that, when, that, um, um, when that time comes, like I said, a lot of people are going to be running around like a chicken with his head cut off. They're going to be willingly going down into the, 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 these camps. All right? Getting, you know. The, the Vanessa shot and, and ultimately the Karagma, right? Versus the elect, man. No matter what the what a, what a, whatever adversity is put upon them, the Lord is gonna give them the spirit to endure. All right. So we got to be patient, man. You know, patiently wait, which patience is, is equated to suffering. Be prepared to suffer. All right. You know. Um. So again, verse four says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low state. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And, and this is the, the, the thing about it. Because like I said, hey, the Lord, he's trying us. We're being tried out. All right. The hour of temptation, that's the ultimate like sifting process where, hey, the, 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 the real is going to be separated from the fake. Because, you know, you got a lot of... um. Guys that, you know, they use the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai, right? But, the, hey, man, the Lord knows uh, who's his and who's not. All right, because, hey, the eyes of the Lord, they, they, follow, they, they follow the elect. So the Lord knows who's his and who's not. All right? And when that time comes, a lot of these guys, they know that, that use the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai, but they're playing around. All right? They're going to be as, as shaft and, and, and wood, stubble, when the fire comes. All right? You know, because, hey, this is the, the, the purging process, you know. You know, and again, hey, um, gold, silver, and precious elements, when it goes through the fire, it comes out fine. It comes out pure. You know, it's purified. But when you put wood, stubble, hay in the fire, it, it gets weathered away. All right. So, hey, when the Lord brings the fire, man, again, the Lord, uh, the real is going to be separated from the fate. All right. So, again, man, hey, the Lord compares his men to fine gold. All right. And again, going into the whole thing of, you know, because, again, we're we're constantly enduring, as, as, as I read earlier, we're constantly enduring. All right. We're, we're you know, we're suffering, man. We're, we're catching all type of hell. All right. But nevertheless, this is the Lord purging us up now. All right. You know, so that, hey, when Jacob's trouble comes, we're in the Lord's will. We're going to come out as that fine gold, the, the, the fine elements, man. You know, we're going to be good, Lord's will. You know, but to, you know, to, to everyone else, man, they're going to be with it. They're going to be with it away. They're, they're done. They're through. You know, um, so matter of fact, real quick, and I might have to do this in parts, man, because I don't have a lot of space on this phone. So, um, oh, well, let me read on down. Let me read on down. Um, Verse, verse 5 again, for gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So again, that's another example. Hey, the Lord is comparing his men to gold, fine gold. All right, because hey, it's good to say a man of the Lord in that day is going to be precious. All right, you know, because hey, they're going to be the only ones, the elect are going to be the only ones 
um, you know, with a, with, a, with a stable mindset, man. You know, they're going to be good. When everyone else is dying of starvation and famine, the, the servants, they're going to be eating, drinking, marrying. They're going to be straight. All right, so, hey, man, it's going to be made known in that day who the men of the Lord are, man. But right now we got to go through the, the process of, of, of humiliation because humiliation comes before honor. All right. But you say, hey, man, you know, I said this before, hey, Lord's will, you know, our time is coming. All right, because those of us trying to do the right thing, man, we've been on the bottom of the barrel. Uh, I always say this, man. Here it is, the nation of Israel, us as a people, as a whole, we're all already on the bottom of the barrel. But the men of the Lord and those that are trying to do the right thing to the sincere ones, all right, we're like on the bottom, bottom, bottom. And here it is, the nation of Israel is on the bottom of the barrel. And they, the, 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 those of us trying to do the right thing, we're like, we're like beneath the dirt, man, you know. So, and, and we're tired of it, man. You know, here it is. All we do, do is tell our people to repent, man, and come back to you. How about Shemel Shabbat? And just look at the treatment that we get, you know. So, again, our time is coming, man. You know, we, we've suffered humiliation for the longest, man. You know, we, 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 we've been down and counted, uh, counted out for the longest, man. You know, and hey, man, it's beautiful because this is like the, the, the ultimate underdog story, you know. The ultimate underdog story where, hey, man, the Lord is going to give his glory back unto his elect, man. You know, to, he's going to give glory back unto his men. And it's so sweet, man, you know, just thinking about it, you know. But, um, hey, like I said, you know, it's comforting. Part of the comfort knowing that the Lord looks at us as gold, man. Gold and fine. Because we're the jewelry of Yahweh Shema Shah, man. We're, we're the apple to his eye, you know. We're, we're, we're looked at as jewelry, jewelry, beautiful jewelry, you know. So, again, part of the comfort knowing that how the Lord looks at us, man. Precious in his eyes, man. You know, that's a part of the comfort, right? Verse 6, it says, Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. All right, because, hey, ultimately, it's going to come down to you and Yahweh Shai. All right, you know, you and your faith in Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and it's going to come down to a decision where, hey, you either want to trust him or you're not. All right, you're either going to suffer patiently and wait on the Lord, or you're going to run and make haste in the time of trouble and make a decision that's not in the best of your interests. All right, that's what it's going to come down to, man. You and Yahweh by Shai. All right, but um, yeah, man, I'm a, uh, I am don't know how many parts I'm going to make this into. Um, um, I'll, I'll just do the whole chapter, but um, I'll, you know, Lord's will come back with a, a you know, more parts. So just, you know, being a lookout, Lord's will. But with that, I'm giving all praise to Yahweh by Shai. Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Shemel Shai, Brock a thumb. Until the next one, Shalom.